Nichols is 60 seconds to recover. Hopefully will be enough for him. Now he's got good cornermen. He's got the right people in place to try to fix this situation. Yeah, and they got to work like a pit stop, you know, in the Indianapolis 500. One guy's giving the gas, another guy's changing the tires, you know, another guy's maybe giving the driver a little water. They got to do the same thing. Give him some water, refresh him a little bit, work his legs a little bit, and then just before he goes out, a little advice. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Mike Tyson's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Keep those hands and now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Halfway into round number five here. <laughs> Right after catching one by Kobe Nichols. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Oh, that uppercut got him. Big shot there. Nichols has got to beat the count, but I don't think he has it in him. 